God, please. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know if Chief is waiting for me to get pregnant before he can do something on my head. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Anyway. What are you thinking? It might be God punishing you for maltreating that poor innocent girl in the brother's house. Maybe that's why you could not get pregnant. You're very stupid. If I must be out of your mind, you're mad. I know why I'm saying this. Because I don't want the God to blame me as well. Because me, I want to have my own children. God will definitely blame you. Because you have been the one advising me to maltreat that poor girl. If the reason why I have not gotten pregnant is as a result of maltreating that poor girl, please forgive me. I really need my own child. Please, God, forgive me for what I did. seen the way I dealt with that awful that has been parading herself with my man. The other day I met them. I went to confront my man. She came and interrupted me. Hey! Telling me that I should leave her man alone. Imagine. I gave her the beating of her life. I resetted her brain. Men! Mm. Men! They are unpredictable. Their heart is filled with evil and wickedness. <laughs> huh. Babe, do you know the striking thing? Steve denied me in front of that fool, claiming to be Daniel and not Steve again. That is why I now believe that girl that came to the house the other day. That girl that he denied. That girl was right after all. Anyway, the one you dealt with, I'm sure she's um, she has learned her lesson. <laughs> she has learned her lesson from money with the books. Mm. <laughs> I dealt with her. <laughs> uh, I poured the whole venom on her. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you know you again? Babe, yeah. I have to go and look for that girl. Okay, what do you want? What do you want to do with her? I need to team up with that girl to deal with that fool. Babe, I'm solidly behind you. He met the wrong person. The wrong person? My name is Monica. Money with the boobs. Uh -huh. Ha. No, babe, I'm solidly behind you. Hmm. Okay? My daughter. <laughs> I can see that you are handling everything in this chamber very well. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Father. I'm impressed by your effort. But there is one thing left. Father, I know exactly where your child is so good. And I'm working on it. Trust me. Jennifer. As you can see, your father is no longer getting younger. I need a grandchild. I said, I am seriously working on it. Jennifer, you know very well that all I have labored is for you. And you need to choose a man by your side to enjoy it with. Look, Father, I understand everything you say, and I know how you feel. But I just want you to know that you are not dying anytime soon. Nobody can tell. I know, Father, but you are not dying. I still need you alive. Okay, what if I tell you that your son in your to be? What's in the scope? Seriously? Yes, I am serious, Father. <laughs> that young man must be a lucky person. Who could that be if I may ask? 
Barista Alex. <laughs> Jennifer, are you pulling my legs? Father, I am damn serious. I'm serious. It's Alex. Which means you make a nice choice. Thank you, Father. Alex is the smartest lawyer we have in this chamber. That's good. That's good. Now you see the reason why I said you should give me time to work on it. So tell me, Father, I do now have And <laughs> a bit till I see it happen. Okay, I promise you, you will see. Good. <laughs> Immediately I see it happen, I give 100% of my. I told my father about you, about us, and he was so excited. Hmm. He also willed all his properties to me. And babe, I really want to enjoy all of these things with you. See, I appreciate your actions towards me, you know? I mean, if I said I didn't have feelings for you, that would be a lie. It's just, I want things to happen organically, you know? I know, and I understand. Thank you. But Alex, that girl in your house is a total distraction. She's really coming between us. I'm surprised you can't see all of those things. She's meant to leave, right? After giving birth. But she's still in your house. Yeah. Babe, doing what exactly? She lost her child. She's going through a lot right now, you know? I mean, she needs time to heal. Just put yourself in her shoes, huh? Think about it. Okay. It's fine. I just want you to know that I'm bothered about it. Don't have to be bothered. Okay, I'm promising you, don't have to be bothered at all. Okay? It's just, I want things to happen organically. Okay? But I promise you, trust me, it's nothing to worry about. It's fine. All right. I can't believe that Jennifer loves me so much to the extent that she was discussing with her father, Justin Sushendi, the one that owns the chambers that work there. Wow. Yeah. You, you have to hasten up and marry her, knowing fully well that she came from a wealthy home. And you have a lot to gain. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just need some time, you know. You really need it, I'm telling you. Yeah. I was, um... Wow. Hey, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hi, Jerry. Pretty, you're looking very beautiful. Thank you. Where yeah. are you going looking so exquisite? I'm going for an interview. Oh, yeah? You're definitely getting the job. You know? <laughs> I just wish you luck. You know, and have fun. Be careful, okay? Thank you. It's all right. All right, bye. It's all right. So, yeah. with the good news. Thank you. My guy. She's very beautiful. <laughs> and I can see why you're still keeping her back. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that, bro. Yeah. She's responsible. And she's the perfect wife material, bro. I'm telling you. I mean, the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. It's not just about money. You yeah. know, there's certain things money can buy. I, I see. I reason with you. I mean, your happiness matters. Yeah, man. And to crown it all, she doesn't disturb me. No unnecessary drama, no unnecessary fights, no unnecessary nonsense. Do you get me? Yeah. I mean. Mm. Well, it's all right, but one thing. You need to marry her first. Before another eye sees her, you know what I mean. Oh, marry, 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 marry. <laughs> you did it, nah, man. Bro, come, no, I think you go there single forever. No, 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 she knows what she wants, you know, and she's not cheap. Uh, she, knows, uh, she knows what she wants, but she's not cheap. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Guy, you needed to have seen the drama Monica put up the other day. Which happened? As we were coming out from the supermarket, Monica confronted me, and I denied her as usual. You know the game now. Good. Along the line, Jane interrupted her. And they began to fight. The fight was so serious that I had to drive off. Man, this is serious. Even to the extent of fighting Jane on the road, my guy has no danger. Has no danger. 
And trust me, that man is right back. Mm. You know, something in me tells me that Monica has a hand in Dev's death. But I assure you, if she does, she will pay dearly for it. Because right now, the police are walking around the clock to fish out the murderers. Don't worry. The murderers will be caught. And they will pay for it. Well, let's see and let's watch and see what happens. Just wondering why you never called me. I gave you my number. You didn't call me. Thank God I met you again today. I'm so sorry, my dear. I was going through a lot as of then. It's okay. Well, it's now I believe everything you were saying the other day. Everything I was saying. Concerning what? Concerning Steve. Oh, Frank. Steve or whatever. Well, I told you, but you never believed me. Rather, you threw me out. It's okay. I threw you out because I did not understand anything. But now it's obvious to me that that guy is something else. He is with another lady now, bearing Daniel as his name. <laughs> The whole thing is quite confusing because the last time I went to see his mother, the mother took me to a grave where she claimed her son was buried. Come. Oh, you have been to his village? Yes, he took me to the village to see the mom several times. Hold on. What is the name of his village? It's from Ako village. Ako. The same place he took me to see his mother. Oh, you, you've been there too? Come. My sweetheart, please. We need to team up. So that we will now go to that place. To know actually the person we are dealing with. Okay, like I said, I was coming from the interview when I met you. And... Thank God I got the job, so I'll be very, very busy. So if you want us to go anywhere, just let me know on time so I can check and then get back to you. Okay, we'll do just that. We need to know the person we're dealing with. Please, we need to go to that him. I already know him. And I'm okay. But don't worry, just to satisfy your conscience, you will go. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm grateful. Anyway, congratulations on your new job. Thank you so much. So you just drop it by the junction and I'll go. Okay. Thought that I lost you, but I lost myself. I gave you everything and you took everything away. Losing my mind, don't think I can do this no more. It's time to let you go. How come did I put myself in here? Someone tell me now you were a cheat. I just can't take it in Oh boy, you know You don't deserve A bit of me Everything you promised To me were all You're welcome, my dear <laughs> How was your day? It was beautiful oh, I can see. And I got the job, really? Yes, wow, you. congratulations, my dear I knew God had a unique plan for you. Now it's showing itself. It's in play right now. Congratulations once again, my dear. Congrats. Um, I... Hello. Uh, I had a good news. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Uh, by the way, you look good. No, I'm good. I'll continue when you're done.
Hey, sis, what's up? Alex, there's something I would like to discuss with you. Okay. Alex, I want to wash my hands off your marital issues. You're my brother and you're a man. You have the right to make your own choice. Anyone you choose between Rosie and Jennifer is okay by me. You have my support. I thought about it. I am a woman and I am equally in a man's house, praying he marries me. I don't want to be a stumbling block to anyone. I want to state it clear so God can see my heart. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Did they, <laughs> why are you saying this? Did they attack you in the dream or something? Or uh, is there anything I should know? Is one of them a witch? Cause like, I'm shocked by the sudden change of mind. Like what happened? Alex, no one comforted me. I'm a woman and I'm praying for God to give me children. I don't want any of these girls saying bad prayers against me. Okay. I've heard you. And um, if you finally make up your mind to settle with Jennifer, it would be nice because her father has weed all his properties to her. Uh, it means you're going to be the managing director of the chamber. She's ready to enjoy all the world with you. On the other hand, if it's Rosie you want, it's also okay by me. You have my support. You're my brother and I want the best for you. You know, this is the best thing you've ever said to me. Thank you so much, you know. And it's beautiful to see that your heart is beginning to soften. You know, you're beginning to become more human for, for the lack of a better term, you know. You're, beco you're becoming more human. <laughs> Why I came. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Right. <laughs> but none of them attacked you in the gym, Abby. Okay. You haven't been seeing no. stuff in the mirror. Alex, nobody. No. Ah, okay, I need to be sure in case I can't pick the wrong one now. <laughs> I was able to meet that girl as she was coming back from a meeting. Sorry, which girl? The girl I told you the other day that I gave my card that refers to Steve as Frank. Oh, the one Steve denied. <laughs> what happened? We took the plans and we had a plan to go to Steve's village to see if we are still talking about the same place. Wonderful idea. Yeah? That was not all. She mentioned Steve's village. And guess what? And it happens to be the same village Steve took me to go see his mother. She said she went with Steve's picture to see the mother to complain to her. The woman took her to a graveside where Steve was buried. Oh no. Why are men polygamous in nature? My dear friend, it's not all about polygamy this time around. I need to know if I'm really dealing with the ghost. I have to see to the end of this matter. Monica. <laughs> Babe, you know what? Like I always tell you, I am solemnly behind you. Fire on, babe. Just go ahead. Fire on. Really? Steve cannot play with me. I'm going Scott. It's not possible. Oh, 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 where now? You look so beautiful right now. Thank you. How can you be so beautiful and talented and smart and hardworking and diligent and... It's God. Uh -uh. It's God. We toast to God. We toast to more jobs. Amen. We toast to long life. Yeah. And prosperity. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah, uh, very important. It's very, very important. Sure, let's, let's click that one. <laughs> <laughs> we have to drink after that. We have to drink. Yeah. <laughs> you are amazing. Babes. Yes, baby. I'm really, really excited. I can't even contain my joy right now. I can see it in your face. Mm. 
the latest EFCC attorney. That's me. Is this easy? If it's easy, you can't do this now. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's definitely it's just, not. It's just God. And you, baby, I don't even know how to begin to thank you for everything you've done for me. I wonder how life would have been without your love, support, concern, everything. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. You're welcome, baby. You're God sent to me. Uh, uh, I could say everything you just said about me. But you're more than that. Okay, you're, you're amazing, honestly. I've said that like three times. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> eh? You put me in awe. You're awesome. <laughs> eh? It's not easy. Yeah. Latest EFCC lawyer. <laughs> I can see, sir. Official. So you do the dish in your eh? Don't worry, don't worry. Food plenty. <laughs> And there's more in there. There's you. There's still more like this in sure, the pot, sure, just good. like this. Exactly. That's what we want. No problem. So All right. We're good with this. What's wrong with this? Eh, baby, get fat today. Tomorrow you lose weight. <laughs> eh? <laughs> The one and only. Yeah, babes. The man, one of, I was going to say Africa. The man, one of the world. <laughs> Go to. Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Uh, do you want me to pour you more? Okay, yeah, finish I'm fine, babe. Let's take it one step at a time. You seem to be more excited than I am. Babe, you make me proud. Yeah. Eh? We should, we should, we should eat. I know that feeling. Eh? I know that Let me feeling. eat this one then. I'll eat this one later. But babe, you get bad mouth too. Mm. I didn't like the way you spoke to me the other day I came to your house. Mimi, you are my friend. I just have to tell you the truth. You know what? Sometimes when things happen, you just have to read meanings to it. I mean, how can you be sleeping with two different men and you're not getting pregnant? So, I, you know I'm a woman. I wouldn't want any woman, anybody to pray bad prayers for me. Because I want to have my own children too. Anyways, I thought about what you told me. So I visited my brother and I told him that I have washed my hands off anything that concerns that girl. Oh, thank God. Well, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I know if I had been soft with you, you wouldn't have been moved to make amends. God will see your strength. Anyway. Mm. I missed you. Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, what is it in you? What happened? Talk to me. Father, please, just forget about it. It's not something you understand. No, my dear. I must know about it. I am your father. Why not confide in me? Father, it's Alex. Alex. It's Alex. Daddy, you know how much I love Alex, right? You know how much I care about him. Alex is just acting as if I don't exist. He doesn't give a fuck about me. He doesn't care, Daddy. I don't know what to do. There is this lady that stays with her. I don't know what she's doing in Alex's house. This lady has become a total distraction to us. He doesn't even let Alex concentrate on us. Father, I'm just, I'm just helpless. I'm just so helpless. I don't know what Is to do. All? Is that all? <laughs> My dear, that is not a problem. Relax. That is, that is, this is enough problem. Enjoy yourself. Cheer yeah. yourself up. I'll talk to Alex. Don't bore yourself. Relax. I will handle it back. You know, you know I love you so much. And I'm ready to sacrifice anything just to make you happy. Father, I will be so grateful if you can talk to Alex for oh, me. Oh, my dear daughter, I will. I will. Just Thank to make you happy. You are the only thing I have. Eh? What else thing I'm done for? So, my dear. Thank you, Father. For you, I promise to remain forever for you. Oh, yeah. I lost my mom and dad for you. Yeah. Now, the cold on 
of dead has snatched you from me. Why? Oh, don't mind losing everything to be with you. I'm counting you to be there for you. To the arms of love, baby, come back to me.